Hey everyone, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to the newest video. Today, I'm going to show you my repaint of the Jurassic World Hasbro Chomping T-Rex figure. Okay, so, oops, I didn't mean to put on the flash. So anyways, here, anyway, anyways, here's the T-Rex um, painting, repainting. Oh my gosh! Here is the T-Rex repaint. It's designed to look like the original T-Rex from the first Jurassic Park and also Jurassic World because it was the same T-Rex. It was featured in the last movie and it was featured in the same movie. But when this thing, when I first got it back in 2015 when I was nine years old, I was way too young to realize how bad this thing looked. It looks like absolute trash. This is what the same exact T-Rex looked like straight out of the box, and I've got to say, it looks like your retarded McDonald's toy. I mean, just look, why does it have black outlining on its eye? Why does its eye look like a feline eye, like it's, it's a slit pupil? And why is it tan? Rexy is brown, not tan. And this is a picture of the prototype on the back of the packaging for this thing. Even the prototype looks bad. I mean... They should have fixed it up, at least given it proper pupils and not a retarded outlining on its eye and fix up the coloration. It's just, ugh, it's not good. They really did a bad job on this T-Rex as far as painting. The sculpting's okay, but it's not exactly the best either. Oh, and the best part is, look at that beautiful seam line on the nose. Mmm, yum. So I have a very dodgy likeness with the Tyrannosaurus Rex, but... I fixed it up immediately with the painting. As a matter of fact, I actually painted it before this paint, and that one actually looked even worse than it does out of the box. Like, I, the paint paint job was lazy, it was just not good, so I re repainted my repaint of a garbage toy to make it look good. So, as you can see, I removed the stupid cat eye pupil thing, and I fixed it up with a proper Tyrannosaurus eye, and I also um, made like the socket around the eye black. It's because that's what it looks like in the film, like Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. See? Yeah, you can see, oh, sorry, I, I apologize for my mom talking in the background, but you can see that the socket around the eye is black and that's a Jurassic Park trademark. So that's what I put on my T-Rex. I also added, oh, stupid flash. Oh, no, 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 not him, not him. Anyways, I added some subtle um, striping on the back. It's because if you look at like the Stan Winston Studios, like little models of the T-Rex, like for pre-production of Jurassic Park, you'll notice it has very subtle striping. So I added that. And I apologize for the paint chipping on this button. And for all of y'all that don't know what this button is for, if you press it, it'll chomp, which is pretty cool. I like it. Hello. The only thing is that the spring on this little action feature, it's kind of weak. So if I, so let me, let me get an example. Uh, get over here. Uh, this is a Jurassic World Ter Pteranodon versus helicopter set human. He's very tiny, like an Oompa Loompa, but he's kind of in scale with the Chomping T-Rex, like a, what a human would be in scale to a regular T-Rex. But as you, as you can see, He's light as a feather, and he keeps the, the the spring jaw open, which is very kind of disappointing. I wish, like, get out of here. It's, are you kidding me? It's sort of disappointing. It's because when you think of a T-Rex toy that can chomp, why would it chomp if it's just chomping on nothing? What in the world? <laughs> I've got a cold, please bear with me. Um, anyways, the it's just kind of weak. In Hasbro, they should have like made the spring a little bit more durable. And if you look inside the mouth, you can see this like the little lever for it. It's all crooked. Hey, look at this. Look at this. I'm not even pressing the button holding it down and it's still open. In a certain angle, it's so weak that it literally stays open. Very, very weak spring. Disappointing. The great thing about this T-Rex is that um, unlike most Jurassic World toys, which have very bad balancing issues, it can actually stand. 
The underbelly is a, an antique white. So it's kind of like a yellowish white. It's kind of like aged a little bit. Sadly, the arms, I forgot to paint this little part of the arms. Hi, Dad. <laughs> um, and what else can I go over? Oh, and also right here, I put silicone right here to mimic the scars from the battle, the, the final battle from Jurassic Park where the T-Rex got scratched by the Velociraptors. So yeah, I, I put some silicone like uh, wounds on here so so to make it looks cool and so it's to let you know it's the same T-Rex from the original Jurassic Park. I also, it's kind of hard to tell when it's painted. It, it used to be painted red, but I there's also kind of a scar right here. That's also silicone. It's not really noticeable, but it's still pretty cool. As a bonus, I also have my, uh, this is my dog, Viva. Uh, this is a, a Jurassic World Basher and Biter T-Rex, which has been repainted. It looks pretty good compared to what it used to look like. I actually have a second Basher and Biter T-Rex. This is what the this is the original paint job. Bruh. Here you can better see the feline pupil, which looks absolutely terrible, especially close up. I mean, it's good. It's the as far as like fine detailing, it's good. It's because it's got like sculpts sculpted creases and everything. But the screw holes, just the bullet holes, ruin it. And it's got such fat arms. It should be much skinnier. And the legs are very tiny, they're just thin. No. As you can see, I also fixed up the feline issue with my Basher Biter repaint. Oh, and also, this was featured in one of my previous videos. I repainted this one and an Allosaurus Basher and Biter that's also Jurassic World licensed. So you can go check that out when you're done watching this video. Oh, and yeah, and also as a bonus, I actually, one of my oldest videos on this whole channel, I was actually reviewing this T-Rex, before it was repainted of course, with the Indominus Rex chomping lights and sounds figure. Um, you could go check that out, that was the second oldest video I ever made. Um, I'll show you how to get to it. Just in case you don't know how to get to my old videos, go to my main page and then press this button right here press dates added oldest and then all the videos that pop up on my page should be my oldest videos and press the second thumbnail you see the toy review and as you can see well <laughs> I was nine years old so I, I've got very short hair and my face didn't really change that much here's the t-rex there's me reviewing the t-rex and everything I also reviewed the Indominus with it so yeah you can go check that out it's very blurry but you can check it out if you want i hope you enjoyed my showcase of the chomping t-rex repaint this i'd really recommend painting yours to look like this if you have the chomping rex